This tutorial is designed to give you an introduction to Tolman's schema, claims, data, and warrants. Tolman's schema is a method to construct arguments. It was developed by Stephen Tolman, a British philosopher. It considers potential objections and views argumentation as somewhat of a courtroom drama. Tolman developed terms to talk about argumentation. Tolman's model breaks down arguments into six parts. In this discussion, we will focus on the first three parts of Tolman's model claim, data, and warrant. A claim is the main point you're trying to make in your essay. It's the premise that you want your audience to accept. Some examples of claims would be the following. Reading horror novels is healthy. Every family needs to create an emergency kit. Torture should not be used as a method of interrogation. Now, claims are joined with reasons in the form of data or evidence or support to create arguments. It's important to provide evidence to support your claim. Two appeals that you can use to back up your claim include logical reasoning and appeals to emotions, values, and beliefs. So if you were developing an argument based on the idea of every family needs to create an emergency kit, you might use one of the following reasons. Statistics show that people facing crisis situations are 65% more likely to survive with a well-stocked emergency kit. Many people died in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina because they lacked the basic necessities, clean water, food, and warmth. Good emergency kits would have saved lives. Every family should have an emergency kit. After developing this support, you might state your claim with reasons in the following manner. Every family needs to create an emergency kit because statistics show that people who carry emergency kits survive in crisis situations. This is an appeal to logic. Or, as the unnecessary deaths hur during Hurricane Katrina showed us, every family needs to create an emergency kit. This is an appeal more to emotions. A claim with reason is linked together with the warrant. The warrant is the thinking process or idea or principle that connects the data and evidence and sources. The warrant is the unstated assumption that happens when you link a claim with reason. Sometimes the warrant may need to be articulated and examined. Why? Well, the warrant should be a value, belief, or principle that the audience agrees with. If the audience doesn't agree, the argument won't be effective. Students can have trouble with the concept of warrants. Often they want to make the process of discerning a warrant more complicated than it is. Let's examine the following claims and identify the warrants involved. Reading novels in the horror genre is healthy because horror novels are a safe way for people to think about facing death and dying. As the unnecessary death string Hurricane Katrina showed us, every family needs to create an emergency kit. Torture should not be used as a method of interrogation because it produces unreliable information. Taking a look at the first example, Reading novels in the horror genre is healthy because horror novels are a safe way for people to think about facing death and dying. One warrant for this claim might be, it is healthy for people to have a safe way to face death. As you can see, this warrant is very simple. In the next example, as the unnecessary deaths during Hurricane Katrina showed us, every family needs to create an emergency kit. One warrant for this claim might be that families should be prepared for crisis situations. Is there only one warrant attributable to the claim or data? There may be many more warrants depending on the claim. Some possibilities are it is good to avoid unnecessary death by stocking essentials or it is bad for families to go unprepared. The third example, 
torture should not be used as a method of interrogation because it produces unreliable information. One warrant for this might be interrogation must produce reliable information to be worthwhile. Are there other warrants that support this claim? If you added different data or evidence or support to this claim, how would it affect your warrant?